All right, we're here with Michelle, and I'm just showing you something very interesting today with Michelle's shoulder in regards to her range and exercises that we're doing for her. Michelle's got osteoarthritis of the shoulder joint, so she's got a lot of creaking and crunching in her shoulder because she's got a lot of bone on bone, which we can't fix unless she has surgery and a joint replacement. So we're trying to delay that because we don't want to do it now. And the other thing we're trying to delay that is because she doesn't really need it for pain. She doesn't have much pain, it just she doesn't have much range function and there's a lot of crunching going on. So the biggest one is when she goes outwards here, she's getting a lot of creaking and grinding through here, which you don't find to be comfortable, do you? Um, but there's not massive amounts of pain, but the restriction is what affects her trying to reach up in her cupboard and that sort of thing. The good thing is hardly any inflammation, so the arthritis -y part of that osteoarthritis is not present. It's just that she's got bone and bone which restricts her function and range. I'll show you. If you go forward and up for me, so she's got sitting around about between 120 and 140, and that's as far as she goes. Because what happens is it just rides up, she gets a bit of bone on bone because she hasn't, the thing is, she hasn't had the ability to get up there, therefore, she hasn't got the strength to get up there. So she gets impingement because of functional. Um, muscle control issues. So whenever she raises up and she uses a rotator cuff, she, it's not strong enough, so the ball just hits the socket, it's bone on bone, and then she won't go any further. And if you look, look at abduction, same thing, go fine. She gets to about there, and that's as far as she goes because that ball's hitting the roof, okay? It's not sliding through because she hasn't got the muscle control. So she can't really get any higher physically, which affects her. Now, if you don't have that range, in your shoulder, therefore you don't use that shoulder, you lose strength, it's like lose it or use it. So her actual stiffness is gonna be apparent above here. So she, if she doesn't, hasn't got the ability to raise her arm up up here, she'll lose the ability to do that generally. So we're gonna get her doing exercises lying down, which we've discovered today. So have a lie on your back like we did before. I've just moved this bed around, you're right? Jump up in there. Oh, a bit high. A bit high. Sorry. See that strength thing? She can't push up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what I've got her doing, and she's going to do this at home, is she's going to do our, this exercise we do in standing for most people, we call it overhead abduction. It's in our shoulder program uh, for people who you know, post surgery, post injury, but she can't get up there from a physical limitation. Like most people who've got the cartilage, you know, don't have the cartilage issue, they can do the strengthening work, they can get above the head fine. It's not a, it's just a, a muscle control issue. She's got a joint, you know, wear and tear issue. She will not get up there physically ever. We've got to get her stronger there, but she won't get up there. So she can't do the exercise in standing. We've got to do it lying down. Now, the interesting thing about this one is if we apply a bit of traction, let me just hang in there. I'm going to put it on my door. What the band does is gives a bit of traction, which means it pulls the ball out of the socket, so there's not as much bone on bone. Pull that down for me. The other thing about this too, just on there, is she's going to use her AD ductors, so her muscles pulling down, to control the concentric and eccentric part of the movement, which means she doesn't have to use her abductors to raise her arm. She doesn't have to use her dowel, doesn't have to use her supersmas as much. They are still active. But she doesn't have to use them, so she gets less riding up in the socket. Now you try and go up high for me, the abduction. And now, look at that. Okay, so she's got way better range. Does it hurt? No. No? Pull down. She's got to now work on can she keep her arm as sort of in that plane? As much as she can. See that? She's working. Now she could never do that in standing physically, because the band's pulling the ball out of the socket. All right, pull down again, there you go. Now, admittedly, she's working on her adductor strength, okay, but she's giving her brain and her body the ability to get above her head can come, which helps with any range of movement. If she's working that joint through range, she has less stiffness, means she can sleep better, she can reach for things better. Everything down here is going to be better for her, generally. Even though she doesn't have the strength to raise up here, at least she's getting her joint moving because she can't do it up here by herself. 
because you can do it down here, which means the whole thing will feel better, it'll function a little bit better because she's using the joint through range. And there was an activation, so her delt and her supersonic will be activating because she's going through a pattern of movement, which will help her generally. And we did this bit before, she's actually better than she was 10 minutes ago. Now go forward and above here. And this one here, she can do as well, so she can do the flexion. You just gotta have that band tight enough, so just come down again, tighten that up another notch. So when she gets a bit stronger, she can tighten the band up. So it's harder down there when she's stronger down there anyway. And as she goes up, it gets a little bit easier. And she can just focus on her range as much as she can, and then you pull down. Of course, she's working on her scapular control. But this is an excellent way for people who cannot do things in standing against gravity and have muscle control issues with cartilage problems to do stuff lying down. Very similar to what she does on the Pilates reformer with those straps, as she was mentioning. And this is a great way for her to do some homework get that joint moving so it's not as stiff, less problems. Okay, so flexion and abduction, which is gonna be great for you if you stand up again. Um, okay. Then you can go back in here again, just go through that flexion again for me. Forward? Yep. Just felt there, yeah, that's looking a bit better already. And then south of here, and go outwards. See that? Okay, so that hasn't changed her joint or her stiffness or anything like that. It's just got those muscle, that muscle control a little bit better. So, because remember, with her poor muscle control, she'll get impingement. We've just activated a little bit of muscle systems and all of a sudden she's getting a bit better glide through there, which means her function improves. I haven't changed the joint. She's always gonna have a limit in her range, but this is a way that she can actually get, almost trick her brain to make sure that she's getting the movement and getting that muscle control so then during the day she's better. Great.